everybody, welcome into Rock Painting 101. Uh, today we are gonna give our fun Christmas gnomes a fresh little makeover to give you a few other design ideas. Our gnomes for Christmas was the first ones we did way, way back. <laughs> and so I thought I would give you a few more fun decorating ideas. So I'm gonna draw my gnomes on first with my black 1M, just so we can place them all down before we start filling them in with color and then that way we can have them even. I've got four gnomes that we're gonna be doing today. Um, so we're just gonna start, I like the hats, my original ones, the hats were a little bit smaller. I'm gonna do these ones with really tall hats because we're gonna put some really fun design elements in the hats. So make sure you leave yourself plenty of space, even more than half the rock for your hats. And then we're gonna come down here and we're gonna build them all starting with their noses. So we're gonna place four noses across our stone here. Like that. Okay. And we're gonna do the top or the bottom part of the hat and the top part of the beard. Now the beard we like to have come right into the center of the nose. So we're gonna come out to either side and then create an arch over the top on each of our gnomes here. And you can put these as close or far apart as you want. The hats are gonna be pretty tall and skinny. They can be all different sizes too. Just like this. I am working on a rougher rock, so if you're ever doing a rougher rock with your Posca, just make sure you're at a slight angle. Don't ever go straight into your rock. And then we're gonna create our beards. Now our beards are gonna come near the bottom of our rock. So they, I usually have them kind of go out to the side a smidge and then come together at the bottom. And this is just a rough sketch. We're gonna fill everything in. So as you're filling in, if you wanna make your beards a little bit bigger, you can. It's hard to make them smaller though. So always err on the side of small and then you can make them bigger. All right, now we're gonna add our big tall hats here. So I always like to give myself an aiming point. Where, I'm, where am I heading to with my hat? And we're gonna have these go way up top, okay? If you wanna leave yourself space for a word, you can factor that in as well. But if you give yourself a point you're heading to or from, that way you can create your line up the side of your hat. And again, these are just sketched lines. Everything's gonna be filled in and then we'll reline at the end. And you can have them very tall like that. I've got one here on the side where I'm gonna actually have it fold over. So you can kind of come up like this. If you want it to fold over, I always do lines because it's not gonna really curve off to the side like that. Point up and back down, okay. We can work on that shape as we fill in too. This one we can go straight up and back down. And this one will have a straight up and back down as well. And then I'm gonna do some filling in and I will speed parts of this up for you because it's just gonna be pretty repetitious. So I'll show you what I'm filling in first on one of these and then I'll speed up the rest. So we're just gonna go with kind of a neutral skin tone in our actual gnome face. And then each of the hats, I'm gonna have a solid color in the background before I am creating the decoration. So we're just gonna take and fill in each one, get as close to the outline as you can or even reshape slightly as you're filling in. We are gonna reline everything when it's done. So it's better to fill all the way into the edge than to leave little gaps of stone showing. And you could definitely do these with acrylic paints. A lot of people do them with their paintbrushes and paints. It might be a little hard to do some of the details we're doing with paints, but with some patience, I'm sure you would be able to accomplish them if you try. So again, we're just fill in the hat with a solid color here. And then we are going to fill in our beard 
white. And I actually am pulling out my acrylic paint for this because I can't, I just misplaced my larger Posca pen a long time ago and I still haven't found it. So beard will be filled in. So I'm just gonna do this same thing on all four of these gnomes. And then we will start our decorating. So I'm just gonna go ahead and skip forward now since you've seen the basics here to where they're done. Okay, we are all filled in now. So we are gonna start to decorate our gnome hats. Now I have four different designs here to inspire you. Obviously you can go so many different ways with these rocks. Um, so just like all of our designs, uh, once you see it, make them your own if you've got some fun ideas you want to try. So I'm gonna start over here on my white hat because I'm gonna layer a few colors. We're gonna create a uh, plaid style rock, or rock gnome hat here. So we're gonna start with some red lines and we're gonna make these a little thicker. Working our way all the way up our hat and once you make your second line you can kind of use your distance as a, a guide to try to keep them even now here you're going to have a fold where it would pinch so the top part you'll have the same distance but the bottom part will come scrunching together a little ways so just keep that in mind as you're working your way around the rock. I'm gonna let that sit. And I'm actually gonna go through and I'm going to do a, a line going the opposite direction too. And I think I might start right about here. So you want it to become a square. Now I did some diagonal lines here, so uh, just, you can start with a straight line, just so you get a squared off edge, and then decide which way you wanna add your thickness to it. And you can have that continue. And then this would be a square, so I would say the next one would be right about here. We'll have a little bit of this one poking up. And again, when you get to these turns, it's gonna be a little bit different and tricky. You can kind of just decide where it's gonna be and just go for it. There we go, like that. So we're gonna let that work on drying. So we're gonna hop over to our next hat here, our green hat. And this one we're gonna style like a Christmas tree. So we're gonna start with a string of lights that are gonna wrap their way all the way down his hat. So in order to do that, you'll start at the top and come off outside of the hat a little ways and go in front and then you'll curve back in the other direction to go behind the hat. And I'll bring this up closer so you can see better and then come back in the front, curve back. So see, we're creating this string that's gonna swirl all the way around so just kind of follow your line behind the tree and then it will curve the other direction back down and go in front. Curve going back down behind, all the way down your hat. You can even have them dangle down at the end like that. And then our next one we're gonna do here are gonna have some little bulbs hanging. Speaking of hanging bulb, we're gonna have a bulb hanging here too. So let's go ahead and add that. I'm using a very light touch with my pen here um, so that I get nice thin lines. So this one, we're gonna just have them slanting downward the opposite direction as our tree. We'll probably fit one here. I would add the bulb before the line just so you can make sure you have some space between them. And we'll do one in the middle here and then we'll have one come way down. 
like that. And our last one, we don't need any black. We're gonna actually do some snowflakes on this one. So I guess he's a little bit more just winter themed. So to do a quick and easy snowflake, I always do a very wide X, short and squatty like that. And then you're gonna make an up and down cross through it. Just like that. Not quite long enough. Let's try to make sure each of the edges or lines are about the same length. Now you can have a few of them going off the edge too. And for that, you would just do like three of them. Like that. Just two there. And then in the rest of the space, we're just gonna have some flurries. Just to fill in. All the way up into the tippy top. Like that. All right, so we're gonna go back over here to our first one. And let's go ahead and make that bulb. We're gonna fill in this bulb red to match our hat. And we're going to give them a green line here in a second to match our plaid. So now for the second color on the plaid, we're not going to worry about different shading and things on this just because there's don't need that many details for what we're doing. So I'm just going to make a thin green line on either side of all of the thick red lines. So from top to bottom, remember, we're going to outline all this again with black. So go as close to that edge as you can and just create your lines on either side. Try to do them equal distance if you can, the best you can. And then we're gonna do them across this way as well. Just like that. Just work your way from top to bottom, from the bottom to top. And now for our Christmas lights on here, I'm gonna do yellow, blue, and red. So I should have done this first, actually. I'm just gonna go on here and create little dashes, or more like, I guess, more like little ovals. And then we'll fill them in with our lights, because it'd be awfully hard to try to line our lights after you put the color in. So we're just gonna come along. Some of them will come off to the side. Some of them will be on top of the green. And you're just gonna make a line off of the string and then an oval. Oh, make your, sure your uh, paint's flowing here. So line off and then a little oval, just like that. So we'll just work our way around here and place these down. And you can have them going up top and up off the bottom too, if you wanna add in a few more. But I think the more, the better. It's really gonna be cute with all the extra color. So once you place them down, there we go. Oh, don't forget your string. If you have your string hanging off down to the bottom. All right. And then we can go back and add a touch of color to each of those, which will leave a little bit of an outline without us having to come back once your lights and bulbs are filled in, you can go ahead and realign the rest of your rock. I'm gonna add just one little detail here to this bulb hanging off from that hat. Now, on a folded style hat, you're gonna wanna create some crease marks. Look for where these folds are and create lines inward in a V shape. This will kind of show the hat folding over. You can also come back in and add a couple lines to your beard not necessary but it's just to 
just for a little bit of fun. You could also add little shoes sticking out from your gnomes if you want to, but on these, I'm just gonna leave them hidden underneath. So I hope you enjoyed this little rock painting tutorial for Christmas, and we'll be back soon with some more fun ideas for beginners. Bye-bye. <laughs>